to my channel so today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look here it is a greeny silvery kind of eye look I wanted to go more on the cool tone side for this look and I paired it with a super super nude lip which I love this nude lip I have used it before it's my favorite one to go for with a bold look so I really hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do and let's get started so I'm starting out by priming my skin and I'm just using my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade just to neutralize any redness and prime my skin for foundation. I'm going in with NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Punjab and I'm using this Wet n Wild Face Buffer Brush. So I'm pretty much just stippling this onto my skin and then buffing in circular motions. Moving on to eyes, I'm just priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot as per usual. So just creating a nice base for the eyeshadows. And then I'm going in with the Morphe 35P palette and taking this lightest shade and just applying this all over the eyelid up to the brow. And this is just going to help any eyeshadows that we put on top blend really seamlessly. Ugh, get my words out. I just applied some tape to the corners of my eyes and then I'm going in with this lightish warm tone brown and I'm just using a Sigma E40 brush to buff this right into the crease um, and I'm just using this as a transition shade. Then I'm going in with a slightly darker warm toned brown and I'm just repeating the same step just keeping this right into the crease and bringing it right into the inner corner of the eye. Going in with this darker cool toned brown, I'm just going to focus this right in the outer corner. I'm still using the same brush but just really focusing this on the outer corner and bringing it right up towards the tape just so I've got a nice crisp clean kind of edge. Then I'm going in with the black from the palette which is just a matte black and then I'm taking a bit of a stiffer brush and I'm just applying this right into the outer corner and just really smoking everything out. Then just back in with the blending brush I used before, I'm just making sure all those edges are seamlessly blended and having a little sing. Then for the lid colour, which is absolutely stunning, I'm using ColourPop Crinkle Eyeshadow. So I'm just using my finger to press this onto the lid. I find this is the best way to apply ColourPop shadows um, and I just love this colour so for so much. Then just back in with the blending brush just to make sure those edges are nice and blended. And then I picked up a little bit more of the black shade and just used that on the blending brush just to intensify the outer corner a little bit more as some of it got blended away. And then I'm just taking a big fluffy clean blending brush just to buff the edges. Then I'm going in with Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner and I'm using this tiny little winged eyeliner brush from Sigma as well. I'm just creating a winged eyeliner, just a really thin line across the lash line and winging it out on the edges and this just helps my lashes look nice and thick. Then I'm removing the tape which is so satisfying and then I'm just tight lining with a black liner, curling my lashes and then I'm going to apply some L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to my lashes. So just putting a coat of this on to prepare for falsies which I'm using the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes, which are absolutely amazing. I love these lashes. Back onto the face, I'm going to conceal using Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and I'm just applying this in little lines under my eyes and then all down the center of my face just to highlight and conceal everywhere. And I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush to buff everything out. I really like this brush to give the concealer like an airbrushed kind of look. But I did go in with my foundation brush just to make sure the concealer and the foundation were blended together. Um, just going along those edges. And then I just took a little bit more concealer and a concealer brush right along that edge of the winged liner where my eyeshadow is. Then to set the concealer, I'm using the light cocoa shade from the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit, just on a Morphe G8 brush, just pressing this into the skin. And then I'm going in with medium cocoa to bronze and contour. So I'm just using an angled brush to just carve out my cheeks and give my skin a little bit of a color. 
And then for my blush, I'm just using NARS Deep Throat, which is this really pretty pink shade. I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm using an oldie bit of goodie. I'm using Mary Luminizer from The Balm. So just using this on the tops of my cheekbones and then down the center of my face. And then to set everything in place, I'm just using Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Back onto the eyes, I'm taking my eyebrow gel actually. This is the Model Co More Brows. I just wanted to thicken up my brows and set them in place, so that's what I did first. And then I'm taking that cool toned brownie shade and just buffing this underneath the lower lash line using that same Sigma E40 brush just to smoke everything out. And then I took the brush that I used the black shadow with, with no extra product, I just used the leftovers underneath that lower lash line and then buffed everything out once again. And for a pop of silver in the inner corner, I'm using ColourPop Liberty Eyeshadow and I'm just packing this on the inner corner, bringing it under the lower lash line and then I'm going to blend it in with the crinkle shade that I've got on the lips. So this color just makes the whole look, I feel like it is so stunning. Then back in with my Sigma Gel Liner, I'm just going to run that through my waterline and this is a great tip for anyone who finds that their waterline eyeliner doesn't last. Then I just took a stiff brush and just sort of blended that eyeliner into the lash line just to make everything nice and smoky and then I applied some lower lash mascara. And then onto the lips I'm using a Rimmel lip liner in the shade Natural. I'm just outlining my lips and then filling them in completely just to make sure my lipstick lasts all day long. And the lip color I'm using is a Rimmel shade in 40. This is one of the Kate Moss nude ranges. So I'm just applying that all over the lips and that completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.